We were 39 weeks and uh, three days when we found out that Wells no longer had a heartbeat. We went in for a 9 a.m. C-section, and when we got there, they were unable to find his heartbeat then. So that's how we found out was on his due date. We went there before expectations of having a son and bringing him home and didn't find out till that morning. We had to go forward with the C-section after we found out that he had passed away. We were in such a fog. I don't think I felt any physical pain. I think it was just more emotional pain. I was afraid that I wouldn't remember him. Within two weeks, we had decided that we wanted Wells' name to mean something. We kind of said, you know, everything happens for a reason, and we're, we want to figure out what this reason is. So we decided to start a foundation uh, in his name, and we help other families that are experiencing the loss of a child with funeral expenses. Uh, we pay for cremation or burial, headstones, pots. We also cover grief counseling for families that, that need private grief counseling for the parents or siblings. Chad and Kelly and their amazing foundation have been so supportive in providing those funds for those families and so they don't have to worry about that on top of everything else. We hope that it's just a weight lifted off your shoulder. That's one less thing for you to worry about. That's one less thing for these families to have to think about. Is that they can focus on grieving and focus on their, their spouse and if they have any other children, focus on their, focus on their families. We go into the hospitals and speak with the staff, like the labor and delivery departments, just to go over what we do and how we can help the families. We want to make sure that nobody gets missed. You know, if they do have a loss, we want to make sure that they're getting assistance if they want it. The further we went, the more we realized how often it happens. We got to do something else. But now we're in 12 hospitals and we've helped over 200 families. We're pretty amazed at how uh, far that we've come and how much it's grown. In the beginning, we never, you know, we wanted to help families, but, and we wanted to give back, but I don't think we ever expected it to be like this. What Kelly and Chad are doing makes the, helps the families that experience the unimaginable loss not feel like they're alone and that there's a community surrounding them. It is healing for us to be able to help other people that are going through the same thing and to be able to talk to other families that are going through the same thing so that they can see somebody on the other side of things that's doing okay and know that they're gonna be all right. And they say it takes a village and it takes a community. And some people don't have that here. And we hope we can be that for some of those people. We prayed that God would let us grow our family and got pregnant with our boys. We want to give our children the gift of knowing that they can take something like this and turn it into something positive. I've been able to find joy again. They have taken a, a life experience that no one wants to have and turned it into something beautiful. And that's very inspiring.